So a couple of years ago, I went on holiday to Mexico, stayed at a nice place. A few years after that, we uh, went to Egypt, uh, stayed at a not so nice place, but it was all right. And then the last place I went to was uh, in Spain, uh, Mallorca. You could say that was my last resort. Hi guys, it's Paul from Crowbar Guitar Tuition and today we are looking at the song Last Resort by Papa Roach. Now first thing you need to do if you want to play this song is make sure that you tune your lowest string, your E string, down to a D. So we call this drop D tuning if you're not familiar with that. So what you should have is that your lowest string and your fourth string are both the same note. So you should have a, a D there and then a higher D at the fourth string. Hopefully you can hear they're the same note. So what we need to do is get your tuner, tune that down to D. If you've never done it before, don't worry about it. It's nothing, not gonna mess up your guitar. Um, unless you've maybe got a Floyd Rose, then you know, have fun with that. Um, but we're looking at last resort. And to be honest, in this song, there's a lot of repetition with subtle differences, which makes it a little bit awkward to teach. Um, but I'll do my best for you. So here we go. So that main intro with the chord stabs, effectively, we're just playing power chords. Uh, we're playing an E power chord, then a D power chord, then a C, a B, and back to D. That's all we're doing. But we're playing them a little bit differently than we might do normally. We're still going to fret them as we would with our first finger, let's say with the E, we'll start with the E, first finger on the seventh fret, third and fourth fingers on the ninth fret. But we're going to use our third finger to add uh, a bass note uh, below that. So putting our third, sorry, our second finger on the ninth fret on that low D string, on the sixth string there, adding an extra B on the bottom. So actually we're playing power chords with a different note in the bass. And that means that normally, I mean, if you play a power chord, if you're like me, you probably put your thumb on the back of the neck of the guitar. We're not going to do that for these power chords, so that's going to be really awkward to then fret that six string note. So we're probably just going to put our thumb around the side of the neck as we would normally. And we're going to plunk that second finger down, plunk that second finger down on that ninth fret. And what you do is just play those notes down up, down up, um, through that progression. So you should go like this. It's as simple as that, kind of power chord shapes with a, a different bass note there. Then we get to the main kind of riff, and uh, this is a lot of fun to play, but it can be a little bit tricky. Basically, you've got a, a repetition of the same notes with a different starting note each time. And if you listen to the starting notes, I'll show you what they are. You can see they just follow the, uh, the, the, same, the, the same notes as that chord progression we just did. So it starts off on the seventh fret on the A string, which is a, we've got a D. Then we get a 12th fret on the D, on the, the low, what is now the D string. So we've got a D on the 12th fret on the sixth string. Then down to the 10th fret, ninth fret. So here's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> Start off with our first finger on the seventh fret on the A string. And we're gonna use our uh, fourth and third fingers to play the beginning of this uh, riff. And all we've got, starting on the seventh fret, so we've got 7th fret, 10th fret, 9th fret, back to 10th fret. And then we're going to shift position with our hand so that our first finger comes up to the 9th fret on the D string. And then we're going to play the 9th and 10th frets on the A string again, but this time we're going to use our 2nd and 1st fingers. So we've got nine on the D string, ten, nine, ten on the A. Then all we do is re repeat the riff over again, but with a different starting note. So now we're already in the right position because we've moved up to the around the ninth fret with our first finger. Second time the riff plays round starts on the uh, on a D, which is the twelfth fret on the sixth string. We're going to use our fourth finger for that. Then we repeat the same notes we just had. Then we're going to 
going to use our second finger to play the 10th fret on the 6th string uh, to start the riff again. And what we're going to do to play the notes in the middle of the riff on the, uh, on the A string, rather than lift off that second finger to move it like that, as you can see, we're actually we're going to flatten it backwards across the strings to allow us to play those notes. So we should, we'll have... <laughs> So we're not going to lift it, we're not going to go, we're going to flatten it backwards. Hopefully that makes sense. And then last time round, it's on the ninth, start with the first finger at the ninth fret in the D string. So just doing that slowly, hopefully you can see this on the recording. going around for the whole of the verse except after that initial intro when the vocals come in uh, you start palm muting it and so on and so forth and it does that for the whole of the verse and there's a very slight change at the end before it goes into the chorus so as you play that riff round the last time you'll you'll miss out that last section of the riff beginning on the ninth fret on the D string so when you've played the, the section that begins on the tenth fret you'll have and then we go down to what is our our B power chord over a, uh, an F sharp, I think it is. So we're going down to that B and up to the D, but with those notes in the bass as well, same as we played in the intro. And then we get into our chorus. And the chorus, uh, first time round, really just has two main chords. We've got an E power chord we've got a C power chord played at the 10th fret uh, with its root on the D string and we're just barring with our first finger across those lowest three strings and all we're doing is hopefully you can hear between changing uh, between those chords you've just got a, an open kind of D and A string there and then we just play octaves. So first octave starts at the uh, ninth fret on the A string with our third finger on the eleventh fret on the G string. And we just play that, move it up a semitone, and then move it up a tone. And then back down to the eleventh again. So you have... And then you just repeat that again, except the second time round, you don't go back down to the 11th on that octave, you just stay on the 14th, uh, 12th and 14th uh, frets for that one. It goes back into verse 2, and then it comes back into the chorus for the second time round. Now the chorus is where things change a little bit the second time round. We play exactly what we did with those octaves first time round, and then we've got a slightly different section. So we still do the E5 power chord, then we've got a C power chord. But then we go down to a G power chord at the 5th fret, just barring across those three uh, strings with our first finger. Then we go up to what is a B power chord at the ninth fret. So all we're doing is, with a little open strings, uh, open D and A between each chord change. So you just do that, you repeat that twice. Then we've got another section which uses the same chords in a different order. So it goes with the E, then the G, then the C, and then the B. And what we're doing here is uh, we're only strumming, we're strumming our eights, one and two and three and four and, but we're not playing on the first beat. So you've kind of got one and two and three and four and, uh, and, uh, and three and four and, uh, and two and three and four and, okay? So it should sound like this. One. So 
hopefully you can hear that we're playing, we're starting uh, on one and as opposed to one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So then the song goes to kind of like a middle breakdown where it goes back to those initial chord stamps that we have at the beginning, goes around a couple of times and back through the riff section. And then we go into what is the last chorus. And the last chorus, um, again, has some small changes to what we've already done. So when you first play that last chorus, you'll play that uh, initial section we played for the chorus with the octaves. Um, and it's exactly the same, except that you don't, when you do it the second time around, you don't stay up at the 12th and 14th octave. So you always go back down to the 11th. So each time you go. So you do that twice round. Then we've got our E, C, G, B progression. And that just repeats round twice as well. And then we've got a section where it gets a little bit uh, different again. So it's kind of based on that octave part that we've been playing before, we're gonna do our E and we're gonna do our C. And then what we've got is um, a stab kind of on, on those octaves. So we're going, uh, and then with open D and A strings in between. So what I've got is uh, octave at the 9th and 11th frets on the A string and G string, and then three strums on the um, D and A. Move up, move up again, then down again. So same pattern of what we're doing with the octaves, but we're throwing in those bits in between. You repeat that. Uh, so repeat that E, repeat that C again. And then the second time uh, you play that octave section round, we do our E, do our C. Uh, but then the octave section just changes the pattern slightly that you've got. So you've got same as what was the first time round. It's got stab and then three. Stab and three. Then we've got three strums on the uh, 12th and 14th fret octave. And one open. And then we're gonna go back to the 12th and, uh, 10th and 12th octave and slide up to the 14th, 12th and 14th and back again. And then a final open. So the third time around we do our E chord and our C chord and then we've got um, palm muted open strings on the 5th and 6th string. So you've got... So just simply palm mute it like that and then we put our... Uh, we bar a power chord, an E power chord at the 2nd fret. So we go from the 2nd fret to the 10th fret. And then it's back to those octaves again. And then for the rest of the song, really, you're just doing uh, octaves, uh, playing that octave section with, a, with an E between it. So you can either play that E down at uh, the 2nd fret, or you can play it up on the 7th and 9th frets on the A string. The tabs I've got kind of alternate between the two. I'm not sure it'll make a great deal of difference when you're playing it in front of other people, whether they'll actually hear that. So you'll have, uh, if we go from that section with the palm muting. Basically, that's all the song does then until the end of the song. Um, so, like I say, there's a lot of repetition going on with lots of slight differences. So you really need to listen to the track to get a feel for um, when the changes come. But hopefully, um, having shown you how to do it, you'll find that easy enough. Um, also, just say, can't remember if I mentioned it earlier, when you're doing that main riff, 
use strict alternate picking, down up, down up, down up. Otherwise, you're always going to struggle with it. But guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Last Resort, enjoyed playing it, and we'll be back next week with another song. Thanks very much. Hi guys, thanks for watching. For more guitar tips and video lessons, click on the subscribe button down below and let me know in the comments what songs or video lessons you'd like to see. If you want to keep up with some of our news, you can like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter or you can always check out our website, crowbrookguitartuition.com.